Even when you take great care of your plants by providing them with proper sunlight, regular watering, and feed them with fertilizer, they may still show signs of poor growth flowering and yellowing leaves. In this video, we will discuss the significance of soil pH of plant growth and yield. We will explore the ideal pH range for most plants and natural ways to adjust the soil pH to achieve optimal growth. Additionally, we will identify acid-loving plants and share three simple methods for testing your garden soil pH at home. Stay tuned! But before we continue, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. What is soil pH? The ideal soil pH for most plants ranges between 6.0 to 7.0, which is slightly acidic to neutral. However, some plants such as blueberries, azaleas, and rhododendrons prefer more acidic soil pH between 4.5 and 5.5. Testing your soil pH can be done easily with a pH test kit or sending a sample to Soil Testing Laboratory. Natural ways to amend soil pH include adding organic matters such as compost, using sulfur or aluminum sulfate for acidifying the soil, and using lime for alkalizing the soil. The pH of soil affects the availability of nutrients to plants and impacts their growth and overall health. Therefore, it's crucial to maintain the appropriate soil pH level for your plants to thrive. Having an ideal range of soil pH is crucial for plants to properly absorb nutrients through their roots. pH is valued at ranges from 0 to 14, with 7 being considered neutral. A pH below 7 is considered acidic or sour, while pH above 7 is considered alkaline or sweet. For most plants, the ideal soil pH range is between 6.0 to 7.0, which is slightly acidic to neutral. To measure soil pH, you can use a pH test kit or send a soil sample to a laboratory for analysis. Adjusting soil pH to the desired level can be done naturally through the use of amendments such as compost, sulfur, aluminum sulfate, or lime. How to test soil pH at home? If you're interested in testing your soil pH at home, there are a few easy methods you can try. The first is using litmus paper, which you can buy at a stationary store or online. To start, collect a tablespoon of soil from your garden and add an equal amount of distilled water to it. After stirring for a few seconds, let the mixture sit for 10 minutes and then dip the litmus paper into the sample. The sample will change color and you can match it to the pH chart that comes with a kit to determine your soil's pH level. Another DIY method involves using vinegar and baking soda. Take a small amount of soil and add some vinegar to it. If the soil fizzes and bubbles, it is a alkaline. For an acidic soil, take another soil sample and add another 2 teaspoons of baking soda, then wet the mixture with distilled water. If it fizzes and bubbles, your soil is acidic. The third method involves using pH testing kit, which can be purchased from gardening stores online. These kits typically include a small vial, some testing solution, and a color chart. To test your soil pH using pH testing kit, follow these steps. Number 1. Collect a soil sample from your garden or container, taking care to remove any rocks, roots, or other debris. Number 2. Place a small amount of soil into the vial provided with the testing kit. Number 3. Add the testing solution to the vial following the instruction on the kit. Typically, you will need to add a few drops of the testing solution on the soil sample. Number 4. Shake the vial gently to mix the soil and testing solution. Number 5. Wait for the next mixture to settle and dose soil and the soil particles to settle to the bottom of the vial. And lastly, number 6. Compare the color of the mixture to the color chart provided with the testing kit. This will give you an approximate pH value for your soil. Note that different pH testing kits may have slightly different procedures, so always follow the instruction that come with your specific kit. Once you have tested your soil pH, you may need to adjust it to bring it into the desired range for your plants. How to adjust soil pH? Digital or type soil pH meters. Which of these should I pick? These are portable devices that are simple to use and have probes that can be inserted into the ground. These provide readings right away. Despite being cheap and convenient, these manual probe testers are not very reliable. However, these digital though slightly more expensive testers are more accurate. These meters actually test pH, temperature, light, and moisture in addition to one or more other variables. These elements are crucial for gardening as well. Now, how do I change the pH of my soil if it's too alkaline or even neutral to reach the ideal pH of 6.5? Number 1. Rain water. You need to do anything if the water is wet and the soil is neutral or alkaline. Simply measure the soil's pH after rain. Naturally, rain causes the soil to be acidic. Number 2. Adding compost to your soil is necessary step. 
a well-decomposed manure such as cow, horse, or leaf compost, or even vermi compost, should make up at least 20 to 30 percent of your soil or potting mix. It will take at least a month or two after adding compost to your soil for the pH to adjust, as this is a progressive process. Number three, vinegar. To lower the soil pH drop, add 1 or 2 tablespoons of white vinegar per liter of water. It will assist to fully water with the solution once a month or every once every 15 days. Number 4. Coffee grounds or tea waste The tannic acid in these materials will slightly alter the pH of your soil. To lower the pH, you can even add used tea or coffee grounds to your plants. Number 5. Lemon juice some experts even suggest using 1 to 2 tablespoons of lemon juice per liter of water and watering your plants with this mixture once a month. Number 6. If available, you can mulch the top of your soil with finely chopped pine bark or any other kind of evergreen bark to make the soil acidic. Number 7. Sphagnum peat moss is still another method for reducing the soil pH. Number 8. Alum, also known scientifically as potassium alumnate sulfate, is a substance that is frequently employed in the purification of water. This can be found as crystals or powder. You can use 5 to 10 grams of powdered crystals per liter of water to water your plants once a month. Number 9. Other methods for reducing soil pH include the use of chemicals or commercial goods containing elemental sulfur. And number 10. Finally, you can use wood ash as an all-natural solution to raise the pH of your soil if it is too acidic and wish to do so. A simple solution to alkalize your soil is a wood ash. In conclusion, maintaining the ideal soil pH is crucial for growth and health of the plants as it affects the absorption of nutrients at the root level. Testing soil pH at home is easy and can be done using simple methods such as litmus paper or vinegar and baking soda. Alternatively, digital pH testers can provide more accurate readings but are more expensive. Adjusting soil pH can be achieved by adding materials such as elemental sulfur or agricultural lime depending on whether the soil is too alkaline or too acidic. By understanding and managing soil pH, gardeners can ensure the success of their plants and enjoy a bountiful harvest. And that's it! Thank you for watching this video! Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time!